Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me again, Insane Gorilla, and welcome back to What If Bell Was Part of the Shi'a Ryu Part 2. Now, quick, quick apologies for what if Bell was a the uh, son of a warden and a peacekeeper. I meant to say they were continued training, well, sparring actually. After Bell found out who, well, who Eyes Valenstein was, and realised that she was the person he helped out so long ago. So yeah, I just want to quickly apologise for that one, and move on to this story. When we last left off, Bell was first going up against Quan Chi. So yeah, who last left off? Quan Chi and Bell still having their fight. Come on, Bell. Come on, then, Scorpion. Have you really got that much skill? Your father was ten times tougher than this. You know my father? Yes, you fool. I knew him very well. I knew your mother, too. <laughs> How would you like to go and meet them once again? They're in my realm. They're in my realm. <coughs> Sorry, guys. They're in my realm. How would you like to go and meet them again? And see how well they're doing. <laughs> but it'll cost you your life to go and see them. If that's the case, then I'll gladly kill you for him, for revenge on them. Do you not want to know your family's history? <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't noticed that your temperature's dropped again. What are you talking about? This. Ah! As Quanchi throws one of them, one of his little magic blades at him. With Bell. Virtually just dropping to the floor well, to dodge it. As Quan Chi just then teleports to him behind him, then stabs him in the back of the neck. With Bell staggering to one side as he would turn around and make two fire swords out of both his left and right hand, as he would then run at Quan Chi. With Quan Chi. Quan, Quan Chi? Yes, Quan Chi. Quan Chi. Sorry. You can have a you can just laugh laugh at me down in the comments. With with Quan Chi then well getting into a blade lock with blade blade locks lock with Bell. With Bell kicking Quan Chi then in the kneecap, which dislocates it. With Bell then being able to stab Quan Chi, Quan, Quan Chi in the chest. By the way, guys, I have only just woken up, so sorry if I slur my words. With well, Quan Chi then teleporting and then stabbing Bell twice. With Bell and Quan Chi having these fights. Sub Zero and Katana both stay on the sidelines. Katana, you must help him. I know Quan Chi is a dangerous foe, Sub, but we can't just jump in. This is his fight. He is avenging his clan. You know the way you told me always never to jump in somebody else's fight. Let's do. Here's something. Where's Bell, Miss, you must lie down, please. You're too weak. You shouldn't be standing. No, I, I must s see what's going on. Who is he fighting? Leave us. We'll take care of her. I, I, I sure. Yes, we can take care of her. We're, we're part of two different clans, but we know each other. 
Rachel, please, lie down. You've gotten a lot weaker since the last time we met. Who's Bell fighting? He's fighting... He's fighting a wizard named Quan Chi. Quan Chi, Rachel. Quan Chi is the one who orchestrated your entire clan's extinction. He... We just recognised who he was, because we remember him seeing him in the council a few days ago, when we were spying on them. Quan Chi has the entire council underneath his thumb. He imposed the police portion of our clans, the head of the chief of police, Quan Li. Yeah. He imposed Quan Li's persona and everything else. He was smiling because of it. But why would this Quan Chi try to kill the Shia Ryu? We've done nothing to him. It's just the way Quan Chi is, I'm afraid. I've heard of his reputation. He's a sorcerer. He used to be part of a familiar in Arario. So they kicked him out for using forbidden magic. Now he serves another one. Shinnok. But we don't know who Shinnok is yet. I'm hoping Bell will wound him enough to where he tries to bargain for his life. That's the only way you can defeat him. Get him to bargain for it. But for his life and perhaps we can learn who the Shinnok is. But why? Wait, is that... What? Oh, no. Fool. <coughs> you really believe that I am that weak? No. Be a good little pet. And watch while I murder your friends. I <coughs> will <coughs> not <coughs> let you harm them, Crunchy. Fool, you don't have a choice. Oh, yeah? <coughs> As he grabs Crunchy's arm while puking up blood. Fool, you're too weak. Oh, yeah, Crunchy. Ah! As he then stabs Crunchy with one of his fire swords. As Crunchy coughs a bit, coughs out a bit of spit and blood. So be it. You want to die that die that badly. Fine. Die, you wretched vermin. As he will then make some ghost some ghost chains and start strangling him. As Bill would put his feet to the ground as he would then launch himself upwards, headbutting Quan Chi in the nose. As there's a satisfying crank, with Quan Chi letting go. You damn vermin. I'll finish the business that I should have done years ago. And perhaps your woman could be less of a struggle. She's already pretty weak. It would be a shame if something bad happened to her, now wouldn't it? I'll kill you before you touch her. We'll see. We will see. Now, let's see where else this fight can lead us. As he would... Well, they would both go into... Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Me again. Sorry if you heard that downstairs. It was my mother. Anyway, we last left off. <coughs> I'll kill you before you touch her, Quan Chi. She's already weak. Already fragile. I think it wouldn't take long for me to properly motivate you. <laughs> 
but don't worry. You'll be joining her soon enough. But first, I think I'll let you stand a bit more. Look up at me, filth. Watch me as I kill her, along with your friends. <laughs> It'll be quite a party for you to watch. No! I will not die, and I will not let you hurt her for my master's sake. Ah, yes, the fool you let get killed. He couldn't barely survive one of my main attacks. You did it. Of course I did, you fool. How many more times do I have to- Ow! As he, well, reaches up behind him, as to, well, stingers could be seen, as he pulls two scorpions off of him. As he would just say, Scorpions. <laughs> I guess you got your name Scorpion from these. Wretched, six-legged creatures. They're a bit bigger than the rest that I have ever seen. Fascinating. I may turn these into revenants. Make them ten times bigger just to creep everybody out. Wouldn't you say, Scorpion? Damn you, Quan Chi. I will not let you kill them. I don't believe you have the choice in the matter. Watch me as I crush them. As he both closes both of his fists, or both of his hands, with magic, as he crushes them. With them, sort of. And know if the scorpions hiss if they're doing stuff or just try and do stuff. I'm just going to say they try and pin, try to sting him again. But he just crushes the stinger first and then crushes the entire body. Now then, where was I? No. You crossed the line. So there, Quan Chi. Oh, sit down, pathetic fool. You don't have much in the way of strength left. I will still kill you. Even if I die, I'll take you to the grave with me. As you would get up again and start attacking Quan Chi, this time pulling the real swords off of his back. As you would start slicing at Quan Chi, with Quan Chi dodging, getting a few cuts in here and there, as he would wipe off some of the blood from himself, saying, Exquisite. You're actually trying when I am not trying at all. Don't kid yourself, Quan Chi. I can see the sweat from your brow from here. So, <coughs> I suggest you think twice about you not trying, you fool. I only sweat when I use too much magic. My physical ability is a lot better than my power abilities. Oh yes, you fool. I have learned martial arts. I have learned your ways. I am using the Shia Ryu tactics against you. A little bit of Link Kuei, too. Oh, yes, and I've learned a bit of their powers as well. Iceberg. What are you talking about? <coughs> you fool. That's what I meant by Iceberg. Enjoy dying while you sit there and watch me kill her. And 
Katana, and Clyde Yang. No. No. Impossible. I can't stand anymore. Uh, as she collapses, well, as Rachel collapses, with Quantry approaching. Oh, unfortunate. I wish to hear her screaming. Katana! I know! You will not touch her, Quan Chi. Not while we're around. How fascinating. I've already dealt with Shia Ryu. Now I have to deal with a Link Kuei and a member of the Neutral Clan. What would your sister say, Katana, if she realized that you were here with an enemy? That you were here not only as an ally to the Lin Kuei, but the lover to, to Sub-Zero. Don't know what you're even talking about, Quan Chi, considering you won't be alive long enough to tell anyone. Oh, really? Is that what you truly believe? You believe you could kill me, the great Quan Chi? I wouldn't say anything about the great Quan Chi. I'd say the pathetic Quan Chi. Oh, really? By all means, try and kill me. Watch as your lover dies. Sub-Zero. Sub, don't listen to him. I'm not dying. Oh, I know. I know you ain't dying. You're not dying while I'm around. <laughs> Is that what you truly believe? Fine. Come and get it. But I bet my wager is that you will not live long enough. To bet anything else. There's something that you forget, Quan Chi. And what's that? Link Wei and uh, Shia Ryu don't die easily. You may have wounded him severely, and yes, he may die, but there'll be always another to take his place. Someone who's far stronger. Far more dangerous than us. The future generations will... Oh, yes, the future generations will rewrite the wrongs of the fathers. And mothers at that. Don't fill me with that garbage. Shinnok will raise this world to the ground. So that will have to be a problem. Shinnok will also kill you, I bet. And I'm perfectly okay with that. As long as I get to fight alongside him to achieve his goals, he can kill me whenever. <laughs> but I doubt he will, because I'm far too useful to him. I can go to different realms, cause insurrections and riots. Then they will in turn fuel his ascension into the one god. The one god? What are you talking about? Oops, I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Oh well, you vermin won't live long enough to see it. As they, well, all fight. And I'm going to be skipping to the end of the fight, where Bell wakes up in a room after passing out. As he would open his eyes to look around. Where am I? How did I get into a room like this? Was that all just a terrible nightmare? Oh, my head. Oh, easy, easy. Don't get up too fast. I was worried there for a bit. 
Katana. <laughs> out for f out for a whole year. <laughs> you just remember my name. That's good. A whole year. What? Yep. No, actually, six weeks. Sorry. Yep, all six weeks, and you've been out in a coma. After Quan Chi stabbed you with the with his iceberg attack, don't know how he learned that. But chewed Sub Zero out for it. After we had that fight, Quan Chi, did you kill him? He escaped. Some massive ass bug attacked us out of the blue. Devora, I think her name is. I think her name is Devora. Oh well. She's a bit of a hive mind, so she serves the greater hive. And she also serves Shinnok. My sister did not has not answered any of my messages, so I doubt we're going to have the clan help. The clans help us out for this. We have to deal with Quan Chi ourselves. So. So I failed. I failed you all. I couldn't avenge our clans. It's alright, Belt. You tried your best. Look. Sorry about that, guys, by the way. Look, Bell. I'm gonna tell you this. Get some more sleep, okay? Your body's still healing. We had some mages come along and heal you up heal you up pretty good. From that massive hole in your chest. They healed it pretty well. Was my heart destroyed? No. If it was two inches to the left, it would have destroyed it. Completely. Luckily it missed, but only by two inches, so consider it, consider yourself lucky. Other people will have died from that attack. Understood. Rachel, is she alive? I... Um... Katana, tell me, where is she? I... I... Katana. Is she alive? I... I'm sorry, I... I... Screw it. As he throws off the blankets as he gets up. Wait, Bell, don't! <clears throat> Get out of my way, woman. Bell, please, sit down. You're too weak. You shouldn't be up like this. Your wounds are gonna open again. Those mages spent a whole six weeks trying to put you back together. You rushing around like this will only cause those wounds to open up. If they open up, so be it. I must see her. Bell, you can't go and see her. She's... She's what? I can't put it into words without breaking you into pieces even further. As he barges out of the way, as he sees a guy with grey hair and a two dog, it, two dog ears and a dog tail. As he's like, hey, get back in your room. With eyes coming around the corner saying, bet, stop it. Belle, it's good to see that you're awake. But you must rest. Where's Rachel? Who? Shut up, Bet. What? Let the best of you sit down, Bell. You're not gonna like what I have to say. Where is she? Don't make me start fighting you all in here. Mamma Mia would not exactly like that. Trust me, Bell. She is not the lady to, uh, take uh, violence into a cord. She hates it in here. 
So you start acting violent, and she'll throw you out. So sit down. Not until you tell me where she is. Fine. Have it your way. Bet, kick him in the back of the legs. Right. As Bet does, as he falls backwards, as Katana puts a chair on his backside, as he falls into it. Fine. Have it your way. Where is she? I'm sorry, Belle. She's gone. She died weeks ago. What? No. No! With Bell screaming, shouting no, as he, well, Katana and Sub-Zero, Kwai Liang, I think that's his name, walk up to him saying, we're sorry, Bell. Well, Katana says she's sorry, and she also says, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't bring myself to tell you this. Neither could I, Bell. Neither could I. I wanted to tell you. Myself, I really did. As soon as you woke up, I would have said, before you ask about Rachel, I'm sorry, but she's gone. I was a coward. I couldn't tell you myself. Why? I promised Master Sashi I would protect her. Keep her safe. And now, I'm sorry, Belle. But that spell that was on her got disbanded too, after she died. Somebody, a mage, walked over to her. She found out why that cur that spell was put on her. I'm sorry, Belle, but your ch but your children didn't survive either. What? 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 I was going to be a, f a father. Yes, you were. In her dying wishes, she said, "I wanted us to be a family." So I didn't tell him that I was pregnant. Because I didn't want him to find someone to immediately remove the spell. I was hoping to last for another whole year, get stronger after my children were born. Sorry. As well, we skip 15 years later. With, well, Bell eventually going into a familiar mem being a familiar member with Sub Zero and. Well, Katana. After the clans figured out that Katana and Sub Zero were together, together, as they found themselves out of a clan, of the well, of their respective clans, of their respective clan. Sorry. With this day being a relatively sad one. Estia, are you here? Oh boy, I bet she's downstairs asleep. Damn it, Sub Zero, where are you when I need you? <sighs> As he walks down the stairs, yes, this is the same place where I where um I was gonna have eyes in Hestia in the bell one other bell one. As he walks down the stairs to the basement, as you'll see Hestia putting on a smart dress. Ah, Bell. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't particularly want you to see me like this. Where are you going, Hestia? Oh, there's a God's banquet. We're going to be discussing about this these certain problems that we're having in the dungeon today. Some of the monsters have gotten a lot stronger, especially on the higher levels. Well, on the lower level higher levels, like level one, two, five and ten. I could always go and group them out. No offense, Belle, but this is something that we gods need to discuss first. 
Barano himself will also be in attendance, although he won't be there physically. He'll be there through some of his own magic. So please, don't be too lonely without me. I won't be too lonely. I've got Sub Zero and Katana with me, wherever they left went off to. Trust me, Val. I know how you feel about you know. Don't you dare bring her up again. Don't get too hostile with me, Bell. Don't ever bring them up again. Fine, I won't bring them back up again. I promise. But you've got to remove the past. Or get over the past. The past is the past. She wouldn't want you to be... Don't you dare say it. She wouldn't want you to be upset. I told you not to say it. Do you know how hard it is for me to get over the loss of someone I loved? Deeply cared for with affection, even though I wouldn't show it. She was always in my heart. I always promised her father that I would protect her, that I would be there for her. Any man she chose, I would defend her and them. Well, defend them both with my life, if I had to. She told me she loved me more than anything else. I accepted it, but I couldn't show my emotions to her. Now that she's gone, I wish I did. Life is full of regrets, Belle. Sometimes you can't. Let the problems of the past cloud your judgment. I think I know where you're going to be going later, so if I bump into Sub-Zero and Katana, I will tell them to go and meet you there. Don't bother. I won't be there long. I thought that's where you'll be going. Anyway, I'll meet you back here after the banquet. It shouldn't take too long. It might probably take like three hours or something like that. That's a pretty long time. Better than a full month, like last time. True. Have fun, Goddess Hestia. Thank you, Belle. See you later, too. As she would walk out, as Belle would sigh. As he would walk off to a grave named Rachel Hasashi. As he would walk up, saying, Hello, Rachel. It's been a while, hasn't it? Bell. Hello, Kwai Liang. Hello, Bell Quinnell. You're not the only one who's upset about her passing. Katana's still beating herself up for it. It's been 15 years. 15 years and we st and I still miss her like crazy. As we all know, we can't change the past. Can't we, Rachel? Talking to the grave won't bring her ghost to you. She's most probably watching over you now. I think she wishes she could hug you and tell you that she's sorry for lying about the reason why she was ill. Her past is in the past. We can't, as you said, we can't change the past. Spell. So don't beat yourself up. We can't change the past. Or they'll wish I could kill Quan Chi. Oh, I wish I could rip his spine out. You and me both. Kwai Liang. Fancy training later? No. Katana's got me doing 
other things. She's been eating a lot, that's for sure. That's my wife you're talking about. Don't you think that she's... You know, hiding something from you? Oh, I know. I know she's pregnant, but I won't say it. Just in case I'm wrong. If you don't say it, I will. Don't, Belle. You'll just make her pissed. Hmm. Fine, I won't say anything. But just to think that I was once a father. I was going to be a father. Damn you, Rachel. Why couldn't you tell me this? I would have stuck by your side. I would have done everything in my power to save your life. <sighs> Again, Belle, we can't change the past. I know, I know. As they would hear someone say, Excuse me. Um, me and my sister here are looking for someone. I'm sorry for my sister. We're looking for someone named Belle. Sister? Oh, shut up, Lucy. I'm Belle. Why are you looking for me? Oh, um, we were looking for you because we heard so much about you and how good you are with at combat and that. We wanted to learn. What my sister's trying to say is that we're we're big fans of yours and we want to know you'll be willing to uh, teach us the ways of I don't know, of you, I guess? Do you mean you want me to take you on as my students? Yeah. Th th that's what we're trying to say. Well, that's what you're trying to say, sis. Come on, Amanda. S stop it. You don't make me angry. Trust me, I've seen you when you're angry, and that's terrifying enough. Yeah, so please, s don't make me angry. Y you know I can't control myself when I'm angry. Yeah, I know, I know. Jesus, you're a monster when you're angry. Are you two ladies done talking? Sorry, Belle. Anyway, how did you even know my name? I kept my identity a secret. My, my adventurer name is Scorpion. How do you know my real name? Oh, uh, our mother. She, she told us about it. She said there's a legend called the Scorpion in Orario. And, well, we were very, um, infatuated by it. We, we wanted to go and see the legend for ourselves. For ourselves. And dur during the night, we snuck out of our mum's home and left. She's most probably worried about us now, but... Hey, she taught us pretty well on how to look after ourselves. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, we were also wondering, could we join your familia? Why would you want to join our familia? Because the legend's there. You're the, the legend himself is there. You. Because you're there. You're the legend. You're a literal legend to our mother. What's your mother's name? She told us to always keep her name a secret. She has trouble with people constantly trying to hit on her in that. Because apparently... Back in her heyday, she was a, a beauty to behold. And our father was somewhat of an asshole, but he was always infatuated with her. <laughs> sounds like my old... Sounds like my missus. Sounds like my missus. And who are you? Sorry, I'll keep out of your conversation. Kwai Liang, hmm? I'll meet you back... Back at Goldas Hestia's place. We'll all be going back to Goddess Hestia's place in a few minutes. So you head off. Right. So that's Kwai Liang. Interesting. 
as they, after a few minutes, head back to, well, Hestia's place. So this is Hestia's place. Oh, huh. interesting. Rundown church. <laughs> Who knows, she'll be more like mom than anything else. Is it, hey, is it sis? Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Um, away from Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Sure. What's all this about, sis? Is this about, you know, him? Who? Scorpion. And? He seems okay to me. Hell, I think Mom would definitely date the guy. She never told us who our father was. And with our power, he could be him. <laughs> Listen, Lucy, there's no way, there's no way this old geezer is our father. This old geezer is definitely not our father. He's not mad, he's not angry, he's <laughs> hell. You could literally put a flame to him and he wouldn't flinch. Yeah, but that's also what Mom said. Come on, Lucy. Get over your fear. This doesn't help anybody in this situation. Oh, come on, Amanda. Don't tell me you can't see this, too. Trust me, Lucy. I can see it. He's not exactly happy about something. Especially with that grave. Yeah, I know, but... Come on. Do you re realize the name of the grave? Yeah, I know. I saw the name. But why would he be apologizing to her? She doesn't seem to be that impressive. Rachel. <laughs> Do you think Mom would know anybody called Rachel? Considering she's got the same colors as him? And Amanda, we shouldn't, you shouldn't say that out loud. Don't worry. It's not like he heard. I doubt that quietly and guy heard. Heard me say. Heard me say. Heard me say that. So hey, you never know. Loosen up a bit. I'll, I'll try. There's a good sister. Don't pat my head. <laughs> what? Hair's nice and fluffy. Unlike mine. I don't know. I think the guys kind of like it. They don't seem to like me because I'm quiet. Because I'm too shy and quiet. Yeah, but that's just your personality. Got everything there that a boy would like. It's just your personality that kind of drives them away. Because one minute you're soft and quiet, and the next minute you're a burning inferno. God damn, do you cackle. Hey. That's not nice. Sorry, sis, but it's kind of the truth. You do have this wicked smile on you when you're angry. Honestly, it took me and Mom both to knock you out last time from it. Yeah, sorry. I try not to. Hey, you can always show a bit more emotion. Just try not to get too pissed off. And please try not to spoil it, because I want to know if he recognizes us through scent. I don't think he has one of those. I don't think he is like us. As well, they re enter as they realize that Sub Zero walks out, or Kwai Liang walks out with Katana, with Bell just saying, Stay here. She'll be back in another two, another hour or so. I'm going back round back to go and train. So if you guys want to, you can do. You can just stay here and talk, and wait, or you can show me what kind of skills you've got, and I'll point you in the right direction. It's up to you. Uh, where is the? Where is your little training area? Round the back. Shouldn't be hard. Just go down the stairs. 
continue walking, go into one room. There's another door on the far side. Go in that door, walk down the corridor for a few for a few minutes. Then you'll reach the training room. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um. We'll we'll come and look when we're ready. Fair enough. Adios. I'm going to train. Wow, he, uh, he seems sad. All of a sudden. Well, we did see him at a grave. So maybe today wasn't a good idea to introduce ourselves to him. Yeah. You're right on that one, sis. Anyway, let's go. Sure. I want to go and see what he's good, what he's good at. As they walk down the corridor, following his instructions, as they come across an image. Wait, is that? No way. <laughs> so they did meet. Wow. Damn, they look cute together. <laughs> that must have been when they were like, what, 17, 18? Damn. Mom really was a beauty back then. You and I gotta admit that. Sister. What? <laughs> it's not like he's gonna hear us. It's an echoey corridor. Of course he's gonna hear us. Oh. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Gotta admit, though. I was surprised. <laughs> Those two didn't stick together. Him and Mom looked so happy together. Even though he threatened her afterwards, but... She has exactly the same image of them. Maybe this guy is father. I told you. But he seems to be angry all the time. Well, not so angry. Quite sad. Mainly depressed. I guess losing a loved one does make you depressed. I wonder why they split. I don't know. Maybe they had an argument. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Come on, let's go and see what else he's up to. Sure. But please, don't say anything stupid to make him angry. I won't. You know I won't. I was afraid you were going to say that. Hey, I'm not that bad. No, you are. You are. You are completely that bad. Oh, come on, sis. Stop being a spoiled sport. It's not my fault that some guys constantly want to pick on us. Yeah, but fighting? Seriously? Hey, shh, shh, shh. Look. As they peer through a crack in the door, as they see practice dummies, as one of them gets set on fire, is they just hear this. And yes, that is what Bell now looks like. When I next meet you, Quan Chi, you're so dead. You took someone I loved away from me. You made sure I couldn't save her in time. You burned down my village. You killed my entire clan. I'm the last Shia Ryu. I will Kill you when I see you. As he would throw a kunai, or his rope spear, as he would say, Get over here! As he would yank it towards him, as he would pull out a blade, as he would then run it through. As he would then split it down the middle, then go back up again. As he would start breathing heavily, as he would make traps all over the place, as he would have to start running through them. As he, as he would. There will be a few traps that come out with swords, so he has to block them. Or block them, sorry. Kunai, so he has to dodge. Arrows. Magic attacks. And... The regular traps. This room is pretty big, so he can sort of do this. 
It's literally like a football field size training area. Don't ask me how how they managed to build all this. It's called money and him going into the dungeon a hell of a lot. With him huffing and puffing as you just collapse. As after a few hours, he would get up and go to the dungeon. With Lucy and well, everybody else leaving. Lucy and her sister leaving. With them following him into the dungeon, as she would say, Wow, this place is massive. Hey, sister, I don't think we should be here. This place gives me the creeps. Oh, calm down, Lucy. <laughs> What's this place going to do? Bite us in the ass. You don't know that. <laughs> Listen, Lucy. We're safe. Don't worry. We're following the legend himself. I can hear you, you know. Uh-oh. Um. Whoops. Told you you shouldn't be speaking so loud. Um. Sorry, Belle. While I'm in here, you call me Scorpion. Sorry, Scorpion. <laughs> Told you he would find us. Sorry, sorry, Scorpion. You two ain't even part of the familiar yet, and you're already following me. What? You think I could teach you something while you sit there and watch? Go back home, you two. Sorry, but we just want to see the legend in action. <sighs> like you saw me fighting those practice dummies then going over all the traps. Uh, how did you see us? It's quite easy to see eyes that glow in the dark. Your heat signatures were there too. Okay. One, not creeped out at all. And two, how the hell? Did you see our heat signatures? There was fire everywhere. <laughs> Human heat heat signatures are a little bit different. Human heat sig Human heat sig signatures are virtually like the fires themselves. But your fire but your heat signatures are different. So that's how I could tell you were there. Oh okay. Not creepy at all. Can you, like, see through walls and something? Yes, I can. Creepy. I don't want to see him do x-ray vision when we're in the bath. I'm not a perfect. Yeah, uh, let's hope you're not. Otherwise, we would kill you. Hmm. <laughs> Go back to the training rooms. I wish to test your so-called fighting skills. Are you sure, old man? <laughs> Trust kids to come up with the old man joke. You might want to reconsider that notion. Because it'll lead you to an early grave. Trust me, I have seen it before. Did your mother ever tell you that I used to be an assassin? Oh yeah, she told us. You kind of are scary. <laughs> Good. That's the way I'm meant to be. What, scary? Yes. Now go back. Now. Okay. As they make their way back. So, sis, what do you think of him? Scary. Yeah, but that's just his persona. He's not that scary. It's just all of his anger that kind of makes you scared. Doesn't he make you scared? No. I would reconsider that motion of being scared. Jesus Christ. How, how did you get here so fast? Teleportation. Wait, is that something Shia Ryu members can do? How do you know I'm a Shia Ryu member? We heard you talking about it. Remember? 
Oh, yes, you did, didn't you? Yes, but it's only what a scorpion can do. And you're a scorpion? Yes. That title's only reserved for the strongest in the clan. And by right, I am the strongest. So show me what you've got. Okay, but don't say we didn't warn you. That's mainly you, sister. I, I, you know, I don't like fighting. Oh, come on. This will be easy. Look at him. He's getting old. <laughs> I'll have you know that I'm in my 30s and quite easily still move around as if I'm in my fir if I'm 13. Mind you, you can't be older than 15 yourselves. Wow, that's right on money. How the hell did he know we were 15? Sister, you're 16. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Your birthday was yesterday. Remember? You know, that was last night and I was, you know, kind of in a foul mood. Shut up and fight, you two. Jesus, okay. Somebody's impatient to get an ass beating. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Come on. Pups, try and fight me. Okay, but don't say we didn't warn you. And oh, as she gets punched in the guts, as Lucy would just run up to her saying, Sister, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, that was really hard. A little warning next time you're going to throw a punch at me? A real fight, you don't get those warnings. And she would get up and try and attack him, with him simply dodging her and then tripping her up. Then immediately landing his foot on the back of her head, knocking her out. With Lucy stunned, getting scared, as she starts hyperventilating. As... Bell basically palms her in the chest, sending her backwards, hitting the wall, and she starts getting mad. As she, she, he would say, enough. As he would then knock her out. As he would throw a bucket of water over both of them, saying, you both fail my test. We're going to have to start training you from the ground up. But first, go and get some sleep. You're going to need it. Now get out. As they would both leave, holding their heads, as Lucy would actually hold her head and her neck. And she would just say, Ow, that guy hurts really hard. As Amy, Amanda would just say, I know, right, but god damn, that was fun. Sister, you got knocked out in the first two seconds. I got knocked out three seconds later. That guy knows all of our weaknesses. Already? And he's only just met us. Like, what, four hours ago? Uh, yeah, but come on. We're going to be taught by a legend. God, Mom will be impressed. He's literally a legend of her story she tells us. But don't you think that was a little vague? She didn't tell us that he was so good he can knock people out in three seconds. Hey. More like five. He knocked me out in two, remember? I know, it's a figure of speech. Yeah, whatever. And where's our room? As they walk past the picture again, saying, <laughs> I gotta admit, they still do look cute together. Wish they stayed together. Then we could have had him as a father. I, I still think he is, though. I don't know, sis. Come on, let's let's just find some way to sleep. I'm tired as it is. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'm on it. But damn. This place is huge. How much money did this place cost? Did this thing hold cost to rebuild and refurbish? Living in a church like this? Yeah, but come on. As they would see, see a fireball, well, a fire pillar, as they turn around to see that Belle has gone. 
as Amanda would just say. Damn. We seriously need him to teach us on how to do that. Come on, sis. He's too powerful. That move looked like it can kill us. We ain't Shia Ryu. We can't do that. Uh, have you looked in the picture recently? Our mob is Shia Ryu. Okay, yes, she left the clan, but she's still Shia Ryu. Perhaps she can do it too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she could. Who are you two talking about? As they would look down the corridor, as they would see Hestia. And she was saying, And who are you two anyway? What are you doing in my home? Sorry, ma'am. We're here to actually join your familia. Huh. So you must be the ones Belle told me about before he left. Huh. Okay. Just to let you know on the ground rules here, if you see a male and female, both in blue, walking side by side, holding hands, you don't get involved. If you see Belle with those two, you don't get involved. Because it's adult business only. You can come to me for advice on certain things. Considering I'm a god, you should come to me all the time. But, considering I know that you two are more infatuated with Belle, I will let this one slide. Uh, excuse me, Goddess Hestia? Yes? Oh. Go ahead, my child. Considering you're going to be part of my familia, I assume. Y yeah, but... Can I ask you something? Sure. Ask me anything. Don't do anything stupid, Lucy. I'm not. Um, why is Mr. Bell like that? Like what? Oh, no. Why is he so sad? I can't tell you that. It's all up to Bell. If he doesn't tell you, I won't tell you. And don't go towards... The two people in blue. Are they Sub-Zero and Katana, by the way? Yes, they are. Okay, just wanted to know. Anyway, what are your names so I know them? Oh. The brown-haired girl with the brown tail is Lucy. I'm her eldest twin, Amanda. Any last names? Mom told us to keep our last names hidden. We don't know why, but she says it's to protect us. We said that our father has a lot of enemies. And to keep us safe, she distanced herself from him. And, well, hit us. She said it's best if we don't ever go and find our father. Because in the end, we'll be, be putting ourselves in harm's way. And we'll be used as bargaining tools. And she doesn't want that to happen. So we decided enough's enough. We want to go and see our father. So we snuck out during the night and ran. Ain't your mother going to be worried? She does well enough. We can handle ourselves. Don't get cocky. If you ever met someone like Belle out in the field, by the looks of it, you two would have been dead in under a second if he wasn't training you. How far has he trained you so far? Uh, apart from a verbal and physical beatdown? Not much. He said he's going to be training us tomorrow. Whenever that will be. <laughs> you two better head to bed. Your bedrooms are literally next door to me. Thank you, Goddess Hestia. Y yeah, th thanks. Don't mention it, my children. Welcome to the family. So this is what family looks like. And that's actually where I'm 
ending it, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for my shoddy word speaking. I, I hope you guys can understand. I did only wake up two minutes, a few minutes ago earlier in the video before I had to quickly pause it. So, yeah. Sorry if I slurred my words and sorry if you couldn't hear me. But hey, like, comment, subscribe, peace, and see you all later. Au revoir.